guys, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2, and today we're going to do Hollow Bastion. This is going to be probably the second longest recording session I'm going to have to do, because we have a ton to do here. Because, I am not kidding when I say Hollow Bastion, this part, and this is the halfway point in the game. Thank God we finally reached it. But we have still just so much more to do afterwards. Do you think... Looks like there's more Heartless now. Let's go check in with everyone. I think they're at Merlin's. Not gonna question how he thinks he knows that. Not gonna question it, okay? Oh, we do get introduced to uh, a Final Fantasy character in just a second. And of course, the one that everyone goes, Oh my god, over... Alright, I'm just seeing what I can get. Abyss Chain would not be a bad idea, but uh, it's just not kind of worth it, you know? Because we can get the Aegeus Chain, which is 500, has two defense, and it stands up to all that. I'll buy one for Sora, but that's it. Because I'm telling you guys, you might want... It's so tempting, but... Okay, fine, I'll give it... No, I'll give it to Goofy, because he doesn't have that much. I guess chain, because... Trust me, you're going to need some of your party members to be equipped with stuff for this part of the game, because we got to fight the second hardest boss in the game. Or... Yeah, I'd say he's probably about the second hardest. Free development, what can I make? Nothing. Creations. Can't make that, so let's get out of here. Yay, he's here! Oh, Cloud! What you doing? I'll get him. This time, we settle it. Me and the one who embodies all the darkness in me. If I do, it's his fault. Whose? Sephiroth. Tell me if you see him. Okay. What's he look like? Silver hair. Carries a long sword. Sure. Well, be seeing you, Cloud. Be careful. He messes with your head. Makes you think darkness is the only way. Is something wrong? Uh, uh... It's nothing. Hmm? I don't want you involved. You mean, you don't want me there when you go away again? I just... Listen. Even if I go far away, I'll come back. Do you mean it? Yeah. See? You don't look so sure. Well, okay. I understand. Go. Get things settled. Huh? No matter how far away you are, once you find your light, I'm sure it will lead you back here again. Right? I suppose. So I'll stay here. And I'll cheer for you. Okay, Cloud? Okay. Wonder if he'll be okay. He'll be fine. I'm sure there's some light in him somewhere. You're right. Okay, I've already said it before, but I'll say it again. For those of you who are wondering, I am not fighting Sephiroth. Sorry. I can't beat him. I'm being dead serious. I seriously can't beat him. No matter what I try, I can never beat him. I forgot to... No way, I said I was going to keep this keyblade until uh, after we finished up Space Paranoids. Uh, by the way, you may have saw that new enemy with the book. You may remember back in the Pride Lands, I said there's an item that uh, Goofy and Donald can get from enemies. Well, these are the other enemies I was talking about. 
But again, it's very rare that you'll get it, but trust me, if you get it, you really don't have to buy another weapon for them, so I'd highly recommend it. And if you're wondering what the pickup item will look like, you know when you like pick up a, uh, a just a standard item? It'll be that. Okay. Let's go into Merlin's. Ooh, now we got another cutscene. But I think it's just dialogue more or less. Yeah. Okay, so now we gotta go there. I'm tempted just to kind of give back some of the pages, but I want to still save a video where I go back and do all the pages in that. Um, because I think, let me see how many pages we got. You need five all in all, and it's gonna kill me if I don't see which ones we have. And torn pages, we ha we only have two. That's right, that's right, uh... I know we got to there, but I can't... There's six locations, aren't there? I don't know. I s no, wait, yeah, that's it. I do know where they're all at now. Okay. But that's still not going to be for a little while longer till, uh we go to Winnie the Pooh's place. I might go there a little early just to get some good stuff because I know you can get some more spells and stuff like Kyurga, which trust me, you are going to need by the end of the game. Um, I don't know. I may go back there just like once to get an item. I'm probably going to do some research on what you get, but whatever. Boom, boom. Come on, would you drop the item? I really love the way it looks in Tron's world. Speaking of Tron, the sequel called Tron Legacy comes out uh, December 10th or 12th, if I'm correct. And I am super excited for that movie. Because I remember I watched the original Tron like probably two years ago. It's alright. But when I saw the trailer for the new one, it's like holy crap. Okay, I think we have a little long cutscene. Excuse me, are you with the restoration? Committee? Oh, Final Fantasy X throwback right here. What's Leon's gang up to? They've got stuff to do over by the castle poster. Scoop! Huh? Let's report. To who? Our leader, of course. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Don't mind her. I assure you, we come in peace. You're kidding. Problem? Okay, fine. You do the talking. So sorry about this. <laughs> that was Yuna, Riku, and, uh, Pain, if I'm right. Um, their game, Final Fantasy X2, I bought, and it was so scratched up from the place I ordered it from, I couldn't play it for more than 30 minutes. So, that's the closest I've ever come to playing a Final Fantasy game, and it was thanks to this game that I actually got, that I'm interested in Final Fantasy, but I can't think of one to play because there's so many, I mean, come on. Alright, well, let's get going then. And uh, in case you guys did not know, Titus from Final Fantasy X was voiced by James Arnold Taylor, who has voiced Leonardo from the Team of T uh, series. Not the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like the classic one, I mean, like the newer one and stuff. And um, voices Ratchet and Ratchet and Clank after Ratchet 1, Ratchet 2, and up, he's voiced them. 
and uh, he's done some other work, but that's just some fun facts for you guys if you did not know that. Uh, come on already. I hate these new enemies. They're really a pain in the butt because they, they like to spam the same. That's something that's happened to me on this playthrough that's never happened in the past. That the enemies keep spamming moves. That's never happened to me. And why do I get the feeling I forget to equip something? I'm not. I just now remember because we do unlock the final thing for my combos after this. Which reminds me, don't I have Trinity equipped? Yes, I do. I'm going to show this off. And then it ends with them putting friendship to the power. I'm so not looking for forward to fighting the Mirix. That's the boss that we had to fight here. And I'll tell you now, the first time I played this game, I did not equip any, um, like, any more stuff to your combo thing. Well, it's a standard three hit thing till this point in the game, because I never knew how to do that. So, yeah. But you gotta give me credit though, I did get far in the game, I got about halfway through the game before Demiris just kept owning me and I got so pissed at this game. There's a Wrath. Well I think I'll be nice to you guys and what I'm gonna do, since I'm not gonna fight Sephiroth, I'll put a cutscene video in with uh, that uh, with that fight scene in it, like I'll show the cutscene where you go to Sephiroth, but and then after that I'll show what happens after you beat him. But I won't be doing that because it's pretty easy. Just go on. I have to just go on YouTube. Just kind of take the video from someone. Just boom. So I don't really care. I'm sorry, but I'm just not fighting him because I cannot beat him. I've had my friends tell me he's super easy if you level up, but here's the thing. When you get to the point in the game where you're on the final boss, where can you go to level up? And don't say the Pride Lance, I know about that. I'm talking about where's there to level up at to where you can keep getting levels that will fight enemies that do present a little bit of a challenge, but also help you level up pretty darn fast. You see my point? Oh man, I am so excited to go to Tron's world. It's probably going to make me want to watch the thing too. Eh. Oh, by the way, um... Sorry about that, I had to turn off my mic. Um, I'm going to admit this now, sorry if I get lost in this uh, part of the level, because it's very, very confusing. I've never really found everything here. 